First though, right now we've got breaking details on what led to a dramatic plane crash off the coast of Volusia County. I'm Matt Austin and I'm Lisa Bell. Sky 6 was the first over the crash, alerting air traffic control what had just happened. Lifeguards swimming to the pilot's safety, pulling him to shore. News 6's Clay Lapard is live in Daytona Beach Shores tonight. And Clay, we heard the pilot is doing OK. What else do we know about him? Lisa and Matt, after that plane landed in the water, were told that the pilot was able to swim out and then hold on to the wing until he was able to safely get to shore with the help of lifeguards. And we're told by officials this all happened because the plane ran out of fuel on its flight from North Carolina. Oh my God, I can't swim. I can't swim either. Claire and Susie Harton took this video seconds after a plane landed right in front of them in the water here along Daytona Beach shores. You couldn't move. somebody else in there because the nose kept staying down. Beachgoers watched as lifeguards swarmed the plane. You just absolutely never know what can happen at any time. You know, and like I said, I was worried about sharks and never thought a plane could come down, you know, right here in front of us. And Sky 6 captured the moments as the pilot, Richard Gooseman, was rescued by lifeguards and taken to shore. You saw it going down and I was like, I said to my wife, I said, the plane's going to land in the ocean. And she was like, what? Volusia County Beach Safety say Gooseman, along with a beachgoer who swam to help, were taken to the hospital. Both are expected to be okay. No, I don't see that uh, on every day in Canada. Uh, it was quite uh, an experience. I mean, I was swimming earlier. That tide is so strong. I give them credit for being able to get out there because it was really tough. Crews are expected out here sometime tomorrow morning to tow away this plane. In Volusia County, Clay Lepard, News 6. Clay, Clay, thank you. So to check out the video only seen by Sky 6, head over to ClickOrlando.com. You can also see pictures shot by a witness on the beach. Just look for this story right on the homepage.